stepping off the cliff, gotta take a trip. Slow ride when I'm off the shit. Buckle in, kid. Lullaby, soothing you with risk. Yeah. What up, Jag Nation? Hey, man, we're heading to the shop today. Finally. We are working on installing the rear subframe collars and the rear differential, um, what's it called? The, the rear diff bushing. All right, we're going from stock bushing to uh, solid bushing. Never have to change it. All right, uh, so, Hang tight. We are getting a roll today on this beautiful Saturday afternoon out here in old Missouri. I'm going to be honest, I don't know about anybody else, but um, this weather sucks. Uh, it's not fun. So that's what we got going this morning. We're going to the shop. We'll knock that out. Uh, and on the ride back, I'll let you know, let you guys know how it feels. I will tell you this, you will need a torque wrench because you have to torque down the, uh, the rear subframe bolts back down to spec. I think it's if I'm not mistaken. I was going to do it at home, but I don't have a rubber mallet to remove the bushings out of the, me, the front side of the rear dip where the drive shaft connects to. So, I'm gonna head out there and get the fuel out of there too. And I brought mine just to try to make the job easier. Alright, so uh, see you at the shop. And then we get out. Let's go. Yo, what's up, Jag Nation? Hey, we're in the shop. Uh, I'm about, I got the car in the lift, about to jack it up. Uh, I was pulling the parts out of the car, and my stupid behind left the damn um, rare diff bushings inside the freezer at the house so i'm not gonna do that today what i will knock out are the rear suffering collars and i think that wouldn't that shouldn't take too long so uh hang tight and uh let's get hot and before we even get hot unboxing all right of these collars so this is what you get you get some instructions right uh you get the collars Then you get here's the color C. They're all um, labeled alphabetically, not in alphabetical order, but they tell you in the instructions what color goes with what. You should have two A's, two C's, and I think two D's if I'm not mistaken. Again, these are the Z1 subframe collars. This is a Z1 subframe collar set. Take a trip, slow ride when I'm the ship. Now is the end so you will need some thread locker so you know uh, so you get that and here are instructions i have a electric impact drill and i have a cart with the air on the bottom that i'll need to pull that stuff in so let's get uh let's get to it all right so here are your bottom so the ones you're going to loosen up i already sprayed some lube on there trying to break it down you have to take this frame off Right. Yeah, one, two, three, four bolts you have to take down. And you're gonna have to take down this bolt right here. Which way? And then this bolt right here. So you don't have to take it all around. All you have to do is lower it. Alright. And that's it. Just lower it in. And then you should be cooking with this. I don't even think you have to take the exhaust off. 
exhaustion. Like, we have the dual exhaustion. Like, so they be like, and it's just a complication. But, uh, as it stands right now, you know, like, so, uh, let me shut this thing down and get it working. This for niggas who back at O2, tell me how to shoot. When 
Yo, that should do it. That's gonna wrap up this video. Hey, be sure. Link below for where I get the parts from. I want step from cracking under.